Welcome back. I'm Jason Gilbo here at Fantasy Football Cafe. Starting off with the first of the Ohio teams, looking at the Cincinnati Bengals right now. Um, a lot of there's a handful of players to really enjoy from this Bengals team. Not much from 2014 outside of Jeremy Hill. Um, but you know, looking over the past years from Dalton, he turned in 60 touchdowns over the previous two years before 2014. Um, was a really nice fantasy quarterback option that kind of took a backseat last year. Uh, Marvin Jones missed, missed 2014, Eifert missed 2014, um, and AJ, AJ Green still produced a nice season, but was obviously hobbled for a lot of it. Um, I mean, outside of, of Jeremy, Jeremy Hill, who really broke out, not a lot from 2014, um, but I think that's going to change and keep, keep things pretty low for ADP coming into 2015, so that's a nice bonus there. Um, Hill really broke out 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns on 5.1 yards per carry. Was mixed in a little bit with uh, Giovanni Bernard there, who was really a scat back, and that's always going to be from 20, uh, for 2015. So um, Hill's going to be your leading guy, and I really like Hill, and I'll talk about him in a little bit. Um, so Dalton, 2014, 19 touchdowns, 3,300 yards, 17 INTs. Um, it's going to make him pretty forgettable here in 2015. He's got a pretty tough strength of schedule um, to deal with. I mean, like I said, 60 touchdowns combined. Um, 33 in 2013, 27 in 2012, really nice numbers, um, and he's got the targets to recreate those numbers, but definitely a tough passing schedule. Um, he's going to face a lot of, more than half the season um, against top 10 passing defenses, so um, could see still probably the same number of, of INTs there, um, but you know, I wouldn't put it past him for Dalton to be a nice, nice play there, and um, I think with the backfield what it is, I think um, he's going to have a nice nice passing game out of the backfield to work with. Um, Eifert stays healthy. It's a big 6-6 target there in the red zone among green. As long as everyone stays healthy, I think Dalton's going to be a great streamer, great backup. Um, and right now he's you know obviously not being drafted um, among any of the top 15, 16 quarterbacks. So... Um, I think, I think Dalton could be a nice nice grab, um, you know, during the season there. Looking at A.J. Green, missed three games, but was doubtful or questionable most of the season. Still managed to put up 1,000 yards, six scores. This is coming off back-to-back -back seasons, throw, or where he found the end zone 11 times. I see him going back to that number right there. Double digits, really has a lot of upside, and um, I feel like he's going to be a steal. Um, you're going to grab him in probably the second round, could be mid to late second round, and, you know, he's got a lot of talent, 27 years old in the contract season. Dalton is just good enough to really keep keep Green afloat there and uh, for him to put up monster stats. So I really like Green coming in. Um, I'll definitely grab him as my wide receiver one, depending on my draft uh, order or how that's going. So um, Marvin Jones missed 2014, coming off a 10-touchdown year in 2013. Going to be the wide receiver two. I see him third on the list as targets um, behind Eifert. Probably going to fly as a wide receiver three or four. Three's kind of pushing it in our world there. Um, going to fly under the radar. Probably going to be a streaming wide receiver, maybe a midseason grab depending on how he how he performs in the early weeks. Um, so it's a guy to keep an eye on. Uh, definitely an honorable mention there. Tyler Eifert missed all of 2014 but one game. Um, another highly talented Notre Dame tight end, which they keep churning out. And... Um, I think he's going to be a nice go-to guy outside of outside of Green, and especially in the red zone, being 6'6", just a monster threat, um, has potential to be a really solid tight end, and uh, I think 700, 750 yards, 5'6", scores is right in his wheelhouse, and um, I'll definitely sit back in, in the late rounds and draft him as my tight end for, for 2015, so... Um, looking towards the running game, Jeremy Hill, Giovanni Bernard, two quality players, but two different skill sets. Um, Bernard's going to be just kind of a PPR guy at the most, not really looking at him in standard formats. Um, Hill's my guy. I am in love with Jeremy Hill. Like I said, big yards per carry guy. Um, he's destined for another 1,000-yard season. Could come closely at double-digit touchdowns yet again. Um, I'm not really worried about Bernard being into the passing game um, he'll definitely cut into that just a little bit but not enough to for me to really worry about him and um, if Hill's going to go in the second round I'll take him there, there all day and I really like him over a guy like LaShawn McCoy who was um, going in the first round and I think Hill's going to outscore McCoy that's kind of my take on 2015 between those two so I'm definitely sitting back and taking Hill 
um, is one of the top plays. And like I said, Bernard, not on my radar um, in you know regular leagues. PPR, sure, you can use them, but at a flex at most. So overall, plenty of options from the Cincinnati Bengals um, and Jeremy Hill, one of my favorite picks of 2015.